Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and today we're looking at UV unwrapping and the problems you might get. In this particular episode, we're looking at overlap, so overlapping UVs. This is all part of the UV unwrapping playlist. This is slightly more advanced, so possibly for intermediate users. But if you need to understand more about UV unwrapping, then look at the first part of the playlist for more about that. Also check the description for other playlists and free courses, as well as my paid for courses. So I'm in Blender 2.92 and I'm using this Wolf model. If you want to know more about the creation process of that, then check out my Winter Wolf 3D sculpting to 3D printing playlist, and you can pick up the model for free. So we're gonna unwrap this model ready for texturing. So let's go to the UV editing workspace because we're editing the UVs, and we've got our UV editor on the side here and our model over here. At the moment, it's all selected, so I can press U to unwrap, and we're going to do it the naughty, dirty way, which is Smart UV Project. This is fine if you're doing something like texture painting, but it can cause problems such as overlapping UVs. So if you're painting on one part of your model and it's appearing on another, then you probably have overlapping UVs. So let's tick the Smart UV Project and press OK. So this is split it up into different islands and we can see the islands a bit easier if we go to the Smart UV Project panel here and just increase the island margin. That's the distance between the islands. And you can see how it's split it up. So these areas are islands, so it's like they're islands in the sea and that's how it's separated it out. Now, if we were doing a proper unwrap, we would mark seams and we would create our own islands, but the Smart UV Project does it automatically. But it hasn't done an amazing job because we probably got some overlap. And you'll often find overlapping UVs with fairly dense models like this, so there's lots of polygons, and where the topology is quite messy. And you can see there's just lots of triangles, some of them are long, some of them are short, and I would call that messy topology. So a quick way to find these is to go up to select and then select overlap. So we've got these four areas here where we've got overlapping UVs. Now these areas down here look fairly straightforward to clean up and you can just grab a vertex, press G and move it out the way. Can you see that overlap there? So we can move it out and now when I press select overlap, it's not selecting this area. And we can tidy these areas up pretty easily just by moving them out. Try not to pull them all the way out here. This can cause stretching. I'll talk about that in another video though, but just make minor adjustments to make sure they're not overlapping. So once again, select overlap, and we've just got two areas left. So again, this is another simple area here, or simple-ish. That's making a fairly thin area there, so I'll just grab this one out as well, and we're all okay. So last one, select overlap, and it was this one here. As you can see, I don't think there's any others. Yep, so just this one here. Now this is slightly more complicated. If I select one of these faces, so I'll go to face mode here and select a face just in there. Actually, I want to select one in the background. I think that's in the background. And then press Control plus to grow the selection. And that will select any that are attached to this. You can see that these UVs are underneath or on top, whichever way you like to look at it, but they're overlapping this part of the island here. So ideally, we want to separate this section off. And that's a good way to find the section is by just selecting one and pressing Control plus to grow the selection like that. And we want to be able to move this away from the other one. If I press G now, it stretches the other ones that it's attached to. So I'll undo that. What I need to do is split this selection. So we go up to UV, split and selection there. So Y is the shortcut for that. And when I tick that and press G to grab now, it's separated it out and I can then move it to a new location where it's not overlapping any others. Now if I go to select, select overlap, we can see that we've got no overlapping UVs and we should be able to paint on it without too many problems. Now I keep mentioning texture painting. Why can you not just put a nice texture in the background? Well, the islands are so disorganized, these seams are quite bad and you'll have a very sort of patchwork looking model. I'll very quickly set that up. And I'll come back to UV editing and put on Eevee so we can see it. And you can see these nice colored squares here, you can see are really badly spread out on the model. So the Smart UV Project really isn't very useful for just plonking a texture on like this. So if you've got a PBR material that you want to put on, it's going to be very sort of patchy and disorganized. So you need a really good UV unwrap for that. And you need to think carefully about where your seams are so that they're almost hidden. So the Smart UV Project, I would say, is more for texture painting. However, there are ways of tidying it up 
and organizing it, which I'll talk about in later episodes. So remember, when you unwrap, select overlap, and you can find those overlap areas, move them around, cut them up with the split option, so UV and split with those objects selected, and then move those to a different location. So there we are, hopefully that will sort out any overlapping UV problems you have. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.